This is a war economy in which the state, which let's remember, had a very uh, sizable buffer built over uh, many years of fiscal discipline, is investing in this war economy. If you look at Russia today, production goes up, military, consumption goes down. And that is pretty much what the Soviet Union used to look like. Uh, high level of production, low level of consumption. Uh, I actually think that the Russian economy is for very uh, tough times because of the outflow of people and because of the uh, l reduced access to technology uh, that comes with the sanctions. In the latest developments surrounding Russia's economic landscape, the nation finds itself grappling with significant challenges. The onset of Western sanctions following Russia's invasion of Ukraine has forced a dramatic shift in its trade dynamics, particularly in the realm of natural resources such as oil and gas. Historically reliant on European markets, Russia has pivoted towards China and India to sustain its export income. However, this shift comes at a cost. The increased enforcement of sanctions is tightening the news, especially as India expresses concerns over the potential repercussions of continuing trade with Russia on its relationships with other global partners. The Russian economy, not known for self-sufficiency, relies heavily on imports to meet its domestic demands. This reliance is becoming increasingly problematic as the cost of these imports rises hence fueling inflation and economic instability. A glance at the inflation rates over the past five years reveals the volatility that has characterized the Russian economy since the Ukraine invasion. The staggering leap in inflation rates from a pre-invasion 8.8% to a peak of 17.8% post-invasion underscores the immediate economic fallout from the sanctions and the devaluation of the Russian ruble. In response, the Russian central bank took drastic measures, hiking interest rates from 9.5% to an astounding 20% in an attempt to curb inflation. This intervention, coupled with other economic factors, saw inflation rates dip to 12% by December 2022. However, the landscape shifted remarkably in the first four months of 2023, with inflation plummeting to 2.3% positioning Russia among the countries with the lowest inflation rates globally, despite stable interest rates during this period. The temporary stabilization was short-lived. By mid-2023, inflation rates began a steady climb, peaking at 7.7% in February 2024, marking the highest rate since the sanctions onset. This resurgence of inflation, even as the central bank aggressively raised interest rates to 16%, signals deep-rooted economic issues. The disconnect between rising interest rates and inflation trends points to the ineffectiveness of traditional monetary policies in the current geopolitical and economic context. Moreover, the depreciation of the Russian ruble, despite significant interest rate hikes, highlights the complex interplay of sanctions, investor confidence, and the global economic environment. Currently, the ruble's value has depreciated by almost 20% over the past year, a clear indication of the currency's vulnerability amidst the ongoing economic turmoil. This scenario raises critical questions about the sustainability of Russia's economic strategies and the broader implications for global markets. As Russia continues to navigate through these turbulent waters, the effectiveness of its monetary policies and the potential for recalibrating its economic model remain under scrutiny. The unfolding situation offers a unique lens through which we can examine the interdependencies of global economies and the ripple effects of geopolitical events on the international trade and economic stability. The re-election of President Vladimir Putin for another term has cast a spotlight on Russia's ongoing economic and social challenges against the backdrop of promises made during the 2018 election campaign. At that time, Putin vowed significant improvements in the living standard and the life expectancy of Russian citizens. 
goals that were ambitious and reflective of an optimistic vision for Russia's future. However, the reality, as recent developments reveal, presents a stark contrast to these aspirations. In 2018, addressing poverty was at the forefront of Putin's commitments, with 12.9% of the population living below the poverty line, defined as less than 14,333 rubles per month, Putin aimed to have this figure. Yet, by the end of his term, the reduction in poverty levels fell significantly short of the goal, only decreasing to 12.3%. Despite efforts to combat this issue through increased wages, benefits for families and children, and compensation for those affected by military operations in Ukraine, the persistent rise in inflation has further complicated these economic challenges. Another pivotal promise was to increase the life expectancy in Russia to 78 years by 2024. While there has been a significant improvement from 72.3 years in 2018 to 73.1 years, this progress is notably below the targeted benchmark. Life expectancy serves as a critical indicator of a country's standard of living with higher figures generally indicative of better living conditions. When compared with nations such as the USA, the UK, Canada, Australia, and Japan, Russia's life expectancy lags significantly behind, highlighting the disparities in health and well-being that exist globally. The Russian economy's current state, characterized by rapidly rising inflation and a stubbornly high level of interest rates, reflects the profound impact of geopolitical tensions and sanctions. Despite the Central Bank of Russia's efforts to stabilize the economy through aggressive interest rate hikes, inflation continues to soar, undermining the purchasing power of ordinary Russians and exacerbating the cost of living. This economic turmoil is further aggravated by the depreciation of the Russian ruble. Driven by a complex mix of sanctions, decreased investor confidence and global economic pressures. As the ruble's value declines, the cost of imports, on which Russia heavily relies for a range of goods, escalates, contributing to the inflation spiral and posing a formidable challenge to the economic stability. As Russia navigates these turbulent economic waters, the effectiveness of its monetary policies and the government's ability to fulfill its promises are under scrutiny. The discrepancy between the ambitious goals set by Putin and the current economic realities highlights the difficulties in implementing broad-scale improvements under the shadow of international sanctions and domestic challenges. Looking ahead, Russia faces the critical task of devising strategies to mitigate these economic issues while striving to enhance the quality of life for its citizens. A journey fraught with complexity and uncertainty.